Amen. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and we're glad and they praise God for this day, Monday, June 19th, Juneteenth, a day of freedom and emancipation, celebration of freedom and emancipation. We thank God for each and every one that has joined us this morning for the Monday morning prayer and our power of praying men. And so we are grateful to God this morning uh, to have with us our Elder Wayne Howell Jr. from the Temple of Prayer and Praise as our guest intercessor uh, on this morning. And so I'm going to ask that uh, Deacon Jones will open us up with the prayer of thanksgiving. And then uh, we're going to ask that Elder Howell will lead us prayer of intercession. The chat is open so that if you have specific prayer requests this morning uh, for Elder Howell to pray or people, individuals, family members, men, our brothers, our our cousins, our uncles, our fathers, our sons, our husbands, uh, we ask that you would put them in the prayer uh, chat, uh, co-workers, members, uh, uh, that you want soliciting prayer for our brothers on this morning. Uh, we are going to ask that you would put them in the chat this morning. And so I am now going to release uh, this part of our service to uh, Deacon Jones, and he is going to lead us in the prayer of thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Our Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, God, for this is the day that you have made. We shall indeed rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. God, we thank you, Lord, for waking us up and starting us on our way. We thank you, Lord, for the articulation of speech and the activity of our limbs. God, we thank you, Lord for being the lifeline that we live by. We thank you, Lord, for your word that is a life unto our path, a light unto our path. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for ordering our footsteps, God. We thank you, Lord, for you are great and greatly to be praised, God. We thank you, Lord, for in the name of Jesus that we didn't die in our sleep, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for being the author and the finisher of our faith, the uplifter of our heads, God. We absolutely adore you this morning, God. We thank you, Lord, for how you protected us all night long in the mighty name of Jesus and allowed us to see another glorious day. God, we give your name thanks, God, for your promises, which are yes and amen, God. We thank you, Lord, for fighting our battles for us in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord, for there is truly none like you, God. In all the earth, God, we give your name thanks, God, for life, health, and strength, God. We thank you, Lord God, for rebuking the enemy for our sakes, God. We thank you, Lord, for divine intervention and visitation, God. We thank you, Lord, for picking us up, God, that you didn't leave us where you found us, God. We give your name thanks, God, just for the awesome God that you are. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, for how you kept us and how you're keeping us in these last two evil days, God. We may not always understand. God, but we give your name thanks and we count it all joy, God. We give your name thanks, God, for how you protect our family members, God. In the name of Jesus, God, the ones that are not saved, the ones who don't know you, the ones where we don't even know where they are, God. We thank you, Lord, for when we go through things, God, uh, that you are greater than our fears, God. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for you declared in your word that I will never leave you nor forsake you, God. We thank you, Lord, for carrying us over the hard places, God. The places that we feel are too much for us, God. We give you name, thanks, God, for wisdom, knowledge, and direction, God, and how to handle situations, Lord God, that we feel are beyond us, God. But we give your name, thanks, God, for giving us the faith to speak to the mountains and mountain, you better move out of my way, for I am blessed and highly favored, God. We thank you, Lord, for life and the will to live it, God. We bind in any kind of demonic spirits that rise up against us, God. We thank you, Lord, for being a shield, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord, for dispatching your angels, God. God, and embracing us, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord, 
for our children, God, that, that we don't see every day or that are not saved, God. We thank you, Lord, that you can reach them where we can't, God. Reach them where we can't, God. We thank you, Lord, for a fresh anointing on today, God. In the name of Jesus, God, fresh fire, God. We thank you, Lord, for this time, space set aside, carved out of this day, God, just to give your name thanks and to lift you up. Our hearts absolutely make a boast in your presence, God. We thank you, Lord, for men who pray, God. We have called us to pray, God. You said pray without ceasing in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord, for the men who are committed even to this time, this space, God, just to lift your name up and pray and raise our voice, God, and give your name praise, God. We thank you, Lord, right now, Lord God, for keeping us, God. Well, for healing us, God, you are the almighty healer, God. Uh, you declared in your word, by my stripes you are healed. Uh, and we thank you right now, God, for your presence, for meeting us, even for meeting us here today, God. Uh, Holy Spirit, assume your rightful place on the throne of our hearts, God. We give your name thanks for all the things that you have done, that you're doing, that you're about to do, God. Uh, we give your name thanks, God, for helping manifest the fruit of the spirits, God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, for every church leader that will preach the word yesterday, God. Oh, for the remission of us, for the uplifting of our souls, God. We thank you, Lord, for taking us to where you are. You are our heart's desire, God. You are where we absolutely want to be, God. We give your name thanks, God, that you, that you never turned your backs on us, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, God, for you, for you do all things well, God. All things are perfect through you, God, in the name of Jesus. And we give your name thanks today, God. In Jesus' name we pray, and for your most um, uh, awesome namesake, amen. Praise the Lord, Lord God. Let's begin to worship the Lord, our God. Let's get, be, begin to just let him feel welcome into our atmosphere. We welcome you, oh, Heavenly Father. I know we all on mute, but just open up your mouth and speak well of him. He's El Shaddai. He's Elohim. He's an all healer, all knowing. He is everything. Just give him the glory for waking you up this morning. Give him the glory for keeping you and um, holding you while you slept. Just give him the glory glory and let him feel welcome in your space let the lord know that he is welcome to be here with you let it he's already everywhere but let the lord feel welcome open up your mouth and with the fruit of your lips and the abundance of your heart speak well of him you are a great god you are king of kings you are all knowing you are all divine you are all powerful father we just love on you right now we just give you all the glory we praise your holy and righteous name for you are worthy to be praised. You are undefeated. Hallelujah. You are strong. You are mighty. You are the lifter of our heads. You are the lifter of our soul. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. And you reign superbly. You reign efficiently. You reign over every area of our lives, Lord God. We just want to love on you right now in the name of Jesus. We just want to give you the praise because it's due unto you, Father God. We just want to give you all that you deserve. We want to give back to you all that we have inside of ourselves right now in the name of Jesus. It cannot be compared to all that you give to us, God. It cannot be compared to the love and the compassion that you have for us, but we release every fiber that we have for you in the name of Jesus. We want you to be glorified. We want you to be highly lifted up. We want you to know that we are giving you everything in us, Lord God, and returning it right back to you in the name of Jesus. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we come together in the spirit of unity, in the power, knowing that you are a God that's going to do something about everything that we have bought with this. We didn't come empty handed. We came with clouded minds. We came with heavy hearts. We came with thing, thoughts in our minds of other people. We came with people on our minds, such as 
Sister Janet Walker, who has surgery on this morning. We came for baby Ferris right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We come on behalf of Brother Joshua. We come for all the servicemen and women, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We come for the lost souls, the lost brothers out in the street, and the lost sisters, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come with a grieving heart for those who have lost our fathers, and we are just coming out of the Father's Day holiday we come father with a whole list of things lord god but we come intentionally first of all to give you praise glory and honor for the bible says i will bless the lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth there is no circumstance that's going to keep me from praising you and blessing you there is no situation that's going to hold back a praise for you there is nothing that's going to keep me away from giving you the glory it may not be good for me every time lord god but it will be given unto you i will bless the lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth i'm going to bless you when times are hard i'm going to bless you when times doesn't seem right i'm going to bless you when times are rough, rough in the name of Jesus, I'm going to bless you in my dark season. I'm going to bless you in my night season. I'm going to bless you when I can't have nothing else, to, when I don't know anything else to do, Father, in the name of Jesus. But it says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in the in my mouth my soul shall make a boast in the lord i'm going to brag about you because you keep us i'm going to brag about you father because you are holding I'm going to brag because you're a lifter of my head. I'm going to brag because when I'm weak, you are strong. I'm going to brag and my soul is going to make a boast in the Lord. And now I'm going to bring others in with me and say, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together because there's power in unity. There is power in the connection. I'm going to link my faith up with your faith and whatever I can muster up and whether you can muster up with we're going to be more powerful together because one can chase a thousand, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So we're going to connect together faith to faith, breast to breast, hope to hope, Lord God, knowing that you're going to do what you said you're going to do, knowing that you have already have a divine plan set in order, knowing, Lord God, that you have called our name for a purpose, that you have woken us up for a reason, that you have designed us for a purpose such as this. This is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I don't care what it is that is in store for me. I'm still going to be glad because you thought I was worthy enough to be called into your plan, Lord God. You thought I was worthy enough to open up my eyes and see this bright and brand new day that was filled with glorious mercies and grace that you have sufficiently bestowed upon me, Father, in the name of Jesus. We bless you right now, Lord God, because we have a list of people that is on the prayer line and that's on our prayer list, Lord God. You know what they stand in need of. You are the our, our creator. You know what needs to be done. You are the healer. We believe the report of the Lord. The doctors may say one thing. The, the, the specialists may say another thing, but you know what needs to be done. And I put my faith, my trust, and my all in you, Father. You are the healer. So, Father, right now, heal and set free. Heal and deliver. Heal and redeem, Lord God, like only you can, Father. I bless you right now because I know you're already walking up and down the hallways. You're visiting every room right now in the name of Jesus. You're touching the bodies right now. And because we've come with the anticipation and with the intentions of getting a healing, getting a prayer across on their behalf, because they may not be in a proper position to do so, Lord God. You have already started the healing process in their bodies. Haba. Yes, Lord God, I know you have already started moving things and shifting things. You know what every atom is supposed to do. You know where the blood is supposed to flow. You know where every ventricle and every vein, Father God, you know where every muscle and every tendon is supposed to be put in place, Lord God. You know what every organ is supposed to do. You already know you designed this body so you know it better 
better than anybody else, Lord God. So start the healing and let the healing begin right now in the name of Jesus. Pour out your spirit upon this flesh, Father, in the name of Jesus. There's somebody on this line that is speaking that has an illness that they haven't never spoke of, Father. Heal right now in the name of Jesus. They're already coming with the hopes and the belief that you're going to do it. Hallelujah. They are, we already here touching and agreeing and knowing that you're going to do it, Lord God, because you are a never failing God. You have never failed us yet. You have never given up on us yet. Even when we were in our own polluted blood, Father, you still spoke life upon us, Father, and we still live because of you. In you do we live, move, and have our very being, Father. So it's only by the grace and will of your hand Lord God, that we are able to sustain and continue on, Father. So we right now just come giving you glory right now because it shall be miracle signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. And we believe in the report of the Lord. We believe in your holy and righteous name. We believe in you, Father, because there is no other help we know, Father. Now rain down your glory upon us like never before, Father God. We call on the fresh fire, as my brother has said earlier today. We call on your healing power in the name of Jesus, and we thank you for everything, Lord God. If you never do anything else, Father, we thank you for the things you have done, done thus far. We already know you have a plan for our lives. We already know that you have something in store. We already know, but we are still here waiting, and we're trying to be in proper posture so that we can do the greater things that you have already destined for us to do. Greater things are we are to do, Father, beyond you after your resurrection. Um, after you have been resurrected, Lord God, we are standing in great in the proper posture for the greater things. We await your assignment, Lord God. We await your instructions to move. We await your holy, gracious name to tell us to move when we need to move, to keep still when we need to keep still, to be quiet and be still and know that you are God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your holy and righteous his name. There is no other name that man can be saved. There is no other name that man can be healed. There is no other name that man can be redeemed. So we call on the name of Jesus right now over every area of our lives. We call on the name and plead the blood of Jesus over all areas of our life right now in the name of Jesus for that family member, Lord God, that is stuck on our mind. We plead the blood of Jesus over them, Lord God, for that friend right now in the name of Jesus. We call on the name and plead the blood of Jesus upon their life. On the homeless per person that we may have came across or we're about to come across, we plead the blood of Jesus over their life right now. Restore them back, Lord God, like only you can. Give them with the needs and the desires of their heart. Give them the resources. Open up the windows of heaven. We stand underneath an open heaven now. Father, let it rain down on us, Father. We stand in proximity proximity and in 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 the get for the person that is dealing with a drug addiction lord god in the name of jesus we plead the blood over that person, Lord God. We plead the blood over the lost souls, Lord God. There's a lot of them walking in the earth, Lord God. So we plead the blood of Jesus that you will put them in right alignment, that they will see through us the power of the Lord, that we will be the proper example. Now clean us up, Lord God. And as David said, said many times, um, years back, Lord God, clean us and make us a pure a pure heart in the name of Jesus and let us have a right spirit in you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory, praise, and honor because of who you are. We give you the praise, glory, and honor because of what you shall do. We exalt you. We exalt you. We yield to your divinity. We yield to your holy and righteous power. We real yield to your sovereignty. Now rule over us, almighty ruler. Rule over us, 
O King of Kings, rule all over us. O Lamb of God, rule over us. O Chief Cornerstone, rule over us, O Father, and be the gracious God that you are. We release ourselves. We open up ourselves. Now clean us up, Lord God. Clean us up, whatever is not like you, Lord God. Whatever is impure in your eyesight, whatever, O Holy Spirit of God, just clean us up. Look into our hearts because you search our hearts, Lord God. Look into our hearts and clean us up, Father. Remove those things that did not need to be there, Lord God. Remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Search our minds and let it become uncluttered that we will stay focused and understand what it is that you have for us. Clean up our thought process that we will not be quick to fall into the flesh and what the flesh may say we will sh we, we should do, but stay connected to you because those that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. So let our mind connect to our spirit, which our spirit is connected to you, Father, and let that be guided by you. Lord God, we ask that you fix the connection, that our connection stays stay um, stays current. Fix the connection. You are our power source. Fix the connection. Repair the connection, Lord God, that we will not fray away from your instructions like only we could, like, and let our flesh just guide us, Lord God. Fix the connection, oh, Heavenly Father, and be a gracious God. We love on you, Lord God. There is no one before you. There will be none after you, Lord God. You are the wise, true, and only God. We bless your holy and righteous name, and we give you glory, praise, and honor. And it's in, in, it's in your son Jesus' name, we give you all the glory, praise, and honor. Amen. Hallelujah. And I just praise you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Do you come on and unmute and begin to give the Lord some praise? Just Ooh. minutes. Come on and bless the Lord. Ooh. Come on and give him some praise for the prayer. Ooh. Come on, give him glory. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord, glory, hallelujah, 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 Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Right now, Thank you, 
Thank you, Jesus. And we bless you, and we bless you, and we bless you, and we bless you, and we bless you. Yes, 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 so we love you here this morning. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you. 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 Thank you for the Thank you, 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 Walk in the liberty wherewith you have set us free, Father. We have bondage, Baba Shete. Thank you, thank you for setting us free, Baba Sha, Baba Sha. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you for the breakthrough this morning in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As you continue to worship the Lord, thank God for his presence. This morning, oh God, hallelujah. And for the prayers that have been prayed, Deacon Jones has prepared our word of encouragement this morning. And so I'm going to ask that he would come at this time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Dr. Patty, for allowing me the space to share. Uh, I'm going to just come briefly. 
uh, from Judges chapter 6, verse 12. And the King James Version reads, And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And just for a brief moment, I'm going to come from the subject, and they were called mighty men of valor. Number one, mighty men of valor have three distinct characteristics, strength, courage, and compassion. Number two, spiritually, valor is defined as strength of mind or spirit that enables a person to encounter danger with firmness, kind of like personal bravery. So we're breaking down what men of valor have, the characteristics, the nature that they have, and what the qualifications are. So biblically, valor has Latin origins, valer, meant to, which means to be strong, to be worthy, um, Therefore, valor more so means courage, fearlessness, and bravery, especially in battle. It is expressive in both persons and of acts. Let us understand that not every man in the Bible earned the title of mighty men of valor. There had to be something very unique, very strong, very significant about you. You, not every man has that quality of bravery that are able to go against the grain, that are able to stand in the face of danger, say, yes, we can prevail. Men like examples of men who are known as men of valor would be Gideon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, David, who even had to stand up against Goliath. Uh, the men, the spies who came, went to the promised land and came back and studied, they were scared of the promised land because it was filled with giants. But there were two that said we can go back when re and repossess the land. One of the men's name, I believe, was Caleb. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now for not everybody could do what they did. Not everybody has the bravery, the heart to do the complete missions that they were faced with. When your faith is challenged, when your faith is challenged, when your bravery is challenged, some men just would, would either walk away, would run from it. And in a sense, David, they kind of run from it, but eventually he embraced that he was, to, he was to be a king. Even Gideon had his doubts at first and said, God, are you sure it's me? But then when God sent the angel in and Gideon was convinced, the Bible teaches us in the book of Judges that he acted with zeal. He acted with zeal as in he did not waste time. These are men of strength courage, knowledge, wisdom, godly wisdom, direction, knowledge, and men who were selfless. And not everybody has that those qualifications. I just want to want to encourage some of the men of today, even if there are some men out there who are brave, some of our men and women who serve in military, men who are security guards, and they put their lives on the line every day and are not, they don't complain about it. Men of valor don't complain. They say, okay, this is, what I'm, this is what I'm called to do. This is what I'm going to do. And they see their purpose through. They're steadfast and unmovable. First, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58 teaches us, and brethren, be ye steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know your work, is not in vain. Your labor is not in vain. What you do for God is not in vain. Men of valor are steadfast and unmovable. Brothers, if you share, and share this with other men, share this with other brothers who may be discouraged or unsure of their purpose in God, may be trying to run from it for, for whatever reason, that their labor is not and then as the scripture teaches us, behold, I am with you, mighty man of valor. Another cross reference, you can read this for yourselves um, in your quiet time. First Chronicles chapter 26, 
verse 32. There's another reference to mighty men of valor. I'll let you read that in your quiet time. But be encouraged, men, today, and men who are uh, uh, that you run across, encourage them. Say the Lord is with you. Even those who may be unsure, may be going through some things, that the Lord is with you, almighty men of valor. God bless you in Jesus' name.